crying are you crying yes. all right remember this song from a classic movie an american tale was released in 1986 and now it's being reimagined for the stage and the show is set to make its world premiere at the children's theater company this week the cast hard at work putting the finishing touches on that performance this morning we are joined in studio by tony award-winning playwright Itamar moses good morning thank you for being here thank you for having me this is exciting we were just talking about kind of a blast from the past you hear the song Time. you see the images um for people who have not seen this or maybe haven't seen it in years. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about the storyline? So, An American Tale is the story of the Mouskowitz family, who are a family of Russian Jewish mice who have to leave their village in Russia when the cats attack and come on a boat to America, but on the way over they get separated and their son Fievel falls overboard and swims to shore and he has to spend the rest of the story navigating mouse 1880s New York <laughs> to reunite with his family <laughs> and has many adventures mm -hmm. along the way. I, we were also discussing, this is a movie I hadn't seen since I was a kid, but man, even hearing that song for like three seconds, it hits you in all the feels. Takes feel. you right back. <laughs> yeah, it yeah, does. Yeah. What is it like adapting something like that for the stage that takes place over multiple you know, locations and water and land and all the things? It's exciting. I mean, first of all, because it's such a classic movie, I was excited to even get the call, you know, and be allowed to work on it. Um, and then you've pinpointed one of the big challenges of this kind of adaptation. I mean, the movie's a cartoon, so you can go anywhere, you can do yeah. anything, and the stage has different limitations, different parameters. So it's really just a question of figuring out um, how to use the particular magic of theater to you know, create those same spaces, those same environments. We have brilliant designers, and you know, their imaginations have really helped with that. The challenge didn't scare you away. Right. No, well, a lot of that part's not my job. Sure. <laughs> okay, you're like, here Somebody you else has to figure exactly. it out, right? Make this beautiful, thank <laughs> Make you. Make it happen, this yeah. is my vision, make exactly. it happen. Um, there's some big issues here, mm -hmm. big issues discussed. How do you take those and still have it work for maybe a younger audience, too? Uh, sort of by following the lead of the film, which is essentially a fable, right? Mm -hmm. It's about these anthropomorphized animals. So it's like a fairy tale or like, you know, Aesop's fables or something. Kids are used to like really important and true like moral or complex lessons being conveyed to them through like fairy tales and fables. Um, so you can get that stuff across um, uh, as long as it's in this sort of heightened uh, you know, fable-like world. Mm -hmm. uh, and the movie does a good job sort of leading the way on that and sort of we've extended that in the in the stage piece a little more, yeah. And you threw in some new characters? We did. Is the story pretty similar then? The story, yeah, the, the, the basic spine of the story is the same. When you watch the movie now, the groups that we sort of meet are, you know, Fievel and his family and then there's, you know, the Italian immigrant street mouse, Tony, and, you know, there's, there's a group of I Irish immigrant mice, but that's sort of it. But there were actually a lot of other immigrant groups in New York at the time. So we've sort of expanded the lens a little bit to include, like, we visit Mouse Chinatown. Mm. You know, we've got, you know, sort of African-American mice. There's a, it was a huge German immigrant population in New York at the time. So we've got, like, a German landlord mouse <laughs> and so on, yeah. Oh, well, you were telling us you've been really impressed with the talent. Oh, yeah. Uh, lo I mean, the entire cast is local, and about half the cast um, are kids, and they're all incredible. Like, the, the adult actors and the youth actors, um, their enthusiasm and their skill has really sort of blown us away. It's terrific, yeah. Oh. Opening night. Saturday. Yes. Yeah. Uh, how you feeling? I feel pretty good. <laughs> you know, it's always a, 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 a tense point in the process. You know, you're in the previews, you're trying to make your final changes with the little time you have left. But given where we are in the process, I think we're in really good shape. Like, I've worked on a lot of shows, and I don't always feel this good at this point. <laughs> I'll tell you that, yeah. Yeah, you take on this job. Did you do this while you were in New York, and now you're here? Or were you here from the beginning working with the team? How does that work? Uh, over the course of, like, two, three years writing it, oh, most, wow. mostly in New York, communicating with the composers and to work on the songs. Um, but, yeah, we did workshops here a couple of times. We come here for a week, you know, last summer in January, and then mostly here since rehearsal started. They brought you here in January? That was rude. <laughs> they, <laughs> they promised me. They were like, when you're back in March, April, it'll be warmer, which it is. It's warmer than January. That's yeah. true. It, it came back. It's technically so true. So something yeah. worked. You right. had to. Now this point, yeah. on the hook. Yeah. Now, now you're in it. Uh, I'm kind of going off. I'm going rogue here. Obviously, sure. this is a, a classic story, a kid's story. We were talking about it. Is there a... a a story from your childhood mm. that you would love 
to see on stage that maybe isn't, or you would do it differently? Oh, that's a really good question. Um, I have to, th I have to think about <laughs> I know. that. Uh, uh, you know, I love, I love the Fox and the Hound, mm -hmm. which is like maybe because of the age. It's like one of the lesser known Disney movies. Yeah, because for sure. It's like you know, but it's from when I was a kid, and they've never done a stage version of that. Maybe because I only think it's well known because of the age I was when it came out. Yeah, but, there uh, you go. There's your next project. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you've worked on plays and shows. You've worked on TV. Yeah. Do you have a preference? I think that. I like all of it. I like doing a variety of things, but I think the great thing about writing plays, like my own plays, is that it's the one area where I can sort of execute just my vision, al sure. you know, alone. So if I had to pick one, I suppose I would I would say that, the one where I can do sort of just what I want, but I'm glad I don't have to choose. I like working with other people. I like doing musicals and Mixing staffing it up. on TV. Keeping yeah. it fresh. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. A very impressive resume. Oh, yeah, what Thank is visit Boardwalk Empire? Yeah, I'm like, I know. What? I know. Huge shows. What do you hope the takeaway is from this performance? Uh, you know, I think there's a very powerful message in this show, even though it is this kind of fable about how difficult it is for um, when there, you know, at times when um, there's hardship and scarcity, you know, and people are worried about food and shelter and things like that, it's, it, people tend to like hunker down and protect what's theirs. And actually those are the times when it's most important to reach out and help each other. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a very, um, a very sort of sophisticated even message in this story about, about that. Uh, and and so so it's like a clear-eyed show. It's it's not like sentimental or something, but but uh, but there's hope at the end too. Sure. And I, I sort of like that. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Good messaging. Yeah. <laughs> Feels fitting with what we've been through over the last few right. years. Right. Absolutely. Well. Yeah. So tomorrow, Moses, we appreciate you being here. Oh, thank you. It was a pleasure. Yeah. Enjoy. The musical An American Tale is on stage at the Children's Theater Company through June 18th. And for tickets, you can head to childrenstheater.org. And then also come back like in June and July. It's great for that time of year. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. All right. <laughs> Stick around. Good day. We'll be right back.